Hi guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we're left leaving straight off from the last episode, and all I'm going to do to start off with is turn that engine off for a start, and then uh, get myself into bed. It is very much bedtime. Just before I go to bed, just want to remind you from last time that we're hoping to sell the crops we made yesterday and the price on the sorghum was at 599 so we're looking for something better than 599 to come out of this from tomorrow again gonna sleep through till seven o'clock see our little beam of jet into the sky up there looking kind of spaceshipy does look a bit funny doesn't it and here we go it's a new morning as you can see, the crops are definitely starting to grow in here. I was expecting this to be ready for harvest today. The soybeans, maybe they'll be tomorrow. Maybe they were planted late, I don't know. We will see. And over here, we've got our barley that started to grow, looking nice. The sorghum, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is a massive drop in price. We might be looking at being here for a long haul. So we're now in October. Here. So we're just going to keep hold of those, I think, for now. And today is going to be a day of figuring out how else we can make money. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that tag so we don't have the green thing up there and today I think is going to be about contracts so if you come over here into your menus you've got all your menus down the sides sorry about that annoying noise I wish I could stop that uh, this one just here with the picture of two pieces of paper that's your contracts so what have we got we've got baling cultivating fertilizing we don't have the equipment for any of that plowing You can use a subsoiler to do these, so we might do that. We've got the equipment to do that. Sowing, we can do that. Obviously we use our own seeds though. And spraying, we can't do that. No harvesting. The baling one, you tend to be able to get an extra couple of bales when you do those, which gives you a little bit of a bonus. Um, the downside to the baling one is I have to do all the work myself. The helpers won't be able to help with that at all. So I think we're probably going to do that one for seven and a half grand. It's a lot of money. And we're probably going to do whichever one's the biggest ploughing one, which is going to be this one. So this is a, a big old field, field number 69, which is just this one here okay uh, it's a bit of a trek away from home as well I think we'll probably cut through here there must be somewhere we can pass the river or we can come down to the bottom and go around we'll have a look we'll see what's going on there so field number 69 I don't really want to drive all the way around here I suppose down there is not too bad we'll do that uh, contracts 69 plowing and we'll get a helper to do that so accept contract I'm not using this equipment look at that rubbish accept this contract and the bailing one we're going to use their equipment for that because we don't have any equipment um, first of all let's just check we can't get the equipment just got that monstrosity in there so the bailing one, and we're going to borrow all the items. So, that's our two jobs. Okay. Um, which tractor should I send? Hmm. Let's send this one. So just run and get the cultivator.
quite nice because we haven't been down that way so we won't have seen what's going on down there yet um, where have I ended up here? there we go this map a little bit bigger Whoop. oh my gosh Whoop. it's just the other side of the bridge for a minute I thought I had to go into my farm and come out the other end I want to go down here We're heading for field 69. Just going to change the view so we can have a look around. So, lovely trees. Looking pretty. I love the autumn time of year. Got another farm there by the looks of it. And part of me does wonder what that really big thing is over there. But also, part of me just wants to be a bit sneaky and nip round field 70. Oh, yeah, there's not much water in there. Go field 69. Um, I think we're going to start on this straight edge over here. I don't know how much of a profit we're going to make with him uh, oh there was a cut through there. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know how much of a profit we'll make with the help of doing this. I'm sure we'll make something. And off he goes. Now if we come over to here, this is what we're going to be doing today. We have got... what track is this? The Voucher G135. It's an interesting paintwork. So we've got front and rear mowers. Um, so yeah, we've got front and rear mowers. We can get a farmer helper to start on that. Then we've got to uh, winrow and head the grass until it is ready to be baled. Okay, and then we've got those horrible bale forks. I think I might buy something a bit better to pick them up on. And we're baling field 18. Where is that? So, we're at the shop which is over here somewhere there. And 18 There's 20 18 is up there, so we want to come down this road here, left and then a right, and we'll be there. Okay, lovely. Bit of a drive ahead of us, again going somewhere we haven't been before, which is quite cool. Okay, so one of the cool things they've added into FS22 versus 19 is the ability to, to pull you use multiple items at once. So for example, if I want to unfold my front mower, if I just select the front mower and then press the unfold mower X, you see that's just unfolding and that's all done. However, if I press the control button and X, you can see it's now unfolded both the front and the back. 
I can now press Control and V. They've both just been lowered. And now if I press Control and B, they are now both on. Okay, let's get rid of a bit of this map. Let's see if a helper can do this. A helper can do this. So while he does a bad job of that, what I'm going to do is go to my other... What field's he in? I was saying I was going to go to him and check to see what he's up to. in the wrong field 69 okay so it looks like that's not working we don't have access to the land maybe you can only do one job at a time I was under the impression you could do more than one job at a time just gonna cancel off 69 And then I'll uh, just send this person home. I'm not going to bother driving him home. I'm just going to send him home. Set destination. And we'll have him just there like that. And then this guy. Press start engine twice. There we go. So I'm just going to send this guy to pick up some more stuff. We'll get as much as we can over there just coming up on the shop now it doesn't have an axle and then I'll put this one on the back okay and then if we go to the map Set destination. I want him just there. Okay. He should now be moving. He's not. Where has he gone? He's there. Set destination. Go to there. Why are you not going? Can 
can you work it out from here maybe? Maybe if we just put him there, it'll be easier for him to work out. There we go, he's off now. He's doing a pretty good job. Some people, there's just no help for. The AI workers are definitely a lot better than they have been, but they are definitely not fixed. Let's figure out where he's taking us. Okay. Looks like a big factory. That's quite cool. Fizzy drinks. I imagine they probably use grape juice or something like that. Which is pretty cool. And here we go. Straight up this road. Our farm will be on the left. And we're home. Is that guy walking through my field? Better not be stomping my crop, my crops. Okay, so for picking up these bales, what have they given us in the way of equipment? Obviously, I've got my front loader over there now. So I could get a baling fork and put that on there. Just stop here. They have given us a con V8 3190 Baylor. See what we're dealing with. That's this one. It's going to give us different bail sizes. I'm going to go for the smallest bail size. Because hopefully we'll be left with more for ourselves. 125 cm. Um, I don't believe they specified what they wanted us to make the bows into. Mow the grass in field 18, then dry it with a tether and pale it. Nope. Um, see ya. What does that mean I can buy to pick them up? Bail loaders. So this is what they've given us, two of these. Bail loader eases the collection of bales, they say. I'm going to rent one. And that'll be it. So there's no point in customising any of that. We'll get that one because it's got the extra weight. And then we'll lease it. Okay. Oops. All the way back up here is quite hard driving these. We're just going to get him around the corner and then we'll send him off to go and meet the other tractors. So, 
what we want him to do is set a destination there and he's off what are you doing in there Okay, how you done? Terribly perfect. Get back to work. This guy. What we're going to do with you is we're just going to drop off your bits over the other side. start with dropping that there and then I'm gonna guess that one no nope. that one yeah And then we'll just send him back to the shop to get the trailer. He's off. You can see the other one coming. Everyone's working hard, doing well. They're pretty terrible drivers, to be honest. Bambi. Now this one's up here, so what we do... We'll go drop that off over here as well. Just going to borrow this other farmer's field. I did ask him. He said it was fine. As long as I don't trample over his crops. And then... Gonna need this bad boy first. It's quite a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. This guy's useless. I'm just going to get this finished off myself. So I'll uh, be with you in a second.
Okay, so we're all done with the uh, cutting of the grass there. I've not done the most amazing job in the world. I'm not going to even pretend that I've done the most amazing job in the world. But I've also got some extras in there because I've gone right up to the edge, not just done the bit of field. Um, so hopefully that will count for something. Just going to connect this up to the next piece of equipment. Obviously that car isn't going to stop. Just going to get this unfolded. And yeah, it's going to make us some decent jobs, I think. Okay. Um, I feel like he's made a little bit of a queue. It's not an ideal situation to be in. down here and get that trailer. And then what we'll do is we'll just get him to here and see if he can handle it from here. So what we would like you to do, sir, is to drive your trailer till you arrive just there. You're going. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go and make some hay. This is going to take a while. This is not one of the jobs that we can uh, get him to do. No. It's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. So, just going to run this round, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I've finished off with that, get it all tidied up and ready to make some bales I guess. There's a lot of hay in there, 
So uh, yeah, we'll get this done. Gonna try and do this as tidily as possible. That's probably gonna end in a disaster though. So here we are, field's all done, starting to lose the daylight, so we need to kind of shimmy this along a little bit, and next up we're going to be on the baler, so you can change your size up top between uh, 125, 150, 180, as I said we're going to be doing 125s. And we're going to have automatic drop on so that we don't have to worry about that. And now, yeah, we just need to lower the pickup, turn her on, and we're good to go. So, uh, let's see how slow she is. Picking up? Yeah, it's picking up. 11 miles an hour, it's not too bad. Probably going to do this one from inside so that I can uh, hear when she's uh, ready to drop. So I will just cut back to after they are all done. Just show you this first one being chucked out. Here it is. As you can see, while it's chucking it out it doesn't actually pick up anymore so you have to stop still you just don't have to press Y 300 times to get it out okay I'll see you at the end so yeah how many valves do you think I've got definitely get that now I mean they're very spread out it's not the ideal situation to be in but look at that sunset beautiful all around Graphics are literally amazing. Oh my, 14 litres. Must be able to get 14 litres down the bottom here. Should give this a bail and nudge out the way. Get it from here. There we go. And we're done. So yeah, moment of truth. You see there's a barrel all the way down there. And yeah, how many do you think we got? Let's have a look. So I believe somewhere in here there's a stats menu. See this one? It's a vehicle overview, no. More money contracts. Here we go. So bales produced twenty. It's fantastic. And what we'll do now? We will jump into this bad boy and go and pick all those up. a lot of light. Um, so I'm just going to very quickly have a look at the controls. So we need to put it into operating position. That's going to be it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, operating position. Some people might think these auto loaders are a little bit cheaty. Personally, I just know that I couldn't do it without one. Question is, will we find all 20 bales? 
with the lack of light. Here's the majority of them. They rolled down the hill. Some people might say that this was a, a lot of money to spend for a contract, this trailer. But I don't know how you feel about picking up bales, but picking up 20 of them. Pretty sure one of the bales, yeah, there it is. Got nine on there so far. There's a couple over here. All these poor road users. It really is getting dark now. quite like to get this job all done today so that I don't have to come back and pay rent on this trailer for a second day I'm a little bit worried that there's seven bales apparently that I can't find hi guys this is editor me here um, so this took me about 20 minutes from here to find the rest of the bales so I'm just going to cut past this part of the film and uh, skip you on to when we've got them all on well minus the one that I never find okay now we've got our 19 bales it's time to head off to the sale point The sale point for these is going to be the animal dealer, which is just here. We'll tag that. And then we'll get ourselves a map up. So we'll get on that main road. That'll be the easiest way to get there. It's a very strange place to have put that, isn't it? Okay, I'll meet you when we get over there. Okay, so we're just coming up on the animal dealers now. Get these unloaded. And yeah, see what we've got. Just unload them here. Contract on eighteen is finished. Oh, look at that! Got some decent money there. thousand three hundred that's nearly paid for this trailer just there so what we'll do now go get rid of all the stuff that we don't need we'll start off by getting rid of this one we'll take that and we'll 
we'll send this back. There we go. Okay, so now we've got to do is get our tractors home. Go to jobs and get them to do it. It's getting late. It's nearly bedtime. We'll have one there. And then we'll have one there. home boys okay that's also done for today hopefully tomorrow these soybeans will be ready to go obviously we've got a bit of money coming today which is good so thank you very much for coming and watching we've earned some decent money today oh one last thing do we need to get water We need to get water tomorrow, definitely. And how's the financials gone today? So, we September or October? Or October. So we've spent two and a half grand on leasing that trailer. Five pound on production costs. We've sold up there, so that's, we're still, say, 1,500 pound out of pocket. Got 807 there. And 700 there, there's 7,000 there. So we've made a tidy profit today of about four and a half grand, which after our interest comes out, it's not going to leave us with much. Um, so I'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Let's go to sleep.